at our last gathering, we began to make weapons, particularly taiaha. A taiaha that's supposed to do what it's supposed to do, to defend you against an attacker. We make things from scratch and we make them according to the kind of standards uh, that we know as carvers and creatives, our history and our culture, so that we're not making ceremonial or display kind of things. We're creating taiaha in the way, same way that our ancestors did. initial experience with Unonahi, I was challenged essentially to start to think about my practice and what I'm doing in a slightly different way. The significance of the tradition and, and making the distinction between what you might term in a Western frame art and the, the added dimensions and significance of Toi Whakaero and it encapsulates in a container for cultural knowledge. I am a bladesmith. I make knives is my thing. That's my main craft, but uh, I want to transition or bring a bit of whakaero into that as well. A lot of our whare around the north are not carved. The art form diminishing for a time, and so it's really cool to see it come back. Um, really important to see it come back. As a whare for myself, I can see the need for it to be more visible. Uh, toi whakaero especially and just learning what we, what we get taught here and then being able to pass those skills over, you know, um, to our students and stuff, yeah. Now it's massive.